The concept of P-E ratio is very common among investors. But value investing is not just looking at P-E ratio. There's much more we should look after. And this video gives you the combination of ratios by which it becomes a magic formula to pick up stocks for a long-term investing. Remember, by watching this particular video, you get a clarity in terms of how to find a good quality companies at a fair price. When it comes to value investing, we have a two major factors. One is qualitative factors, the other one is quantitative factors. But to remain focused for this particular video, I gotta limit myself to talk about only the quantitatives, but I cannot undermine the importance of qualitatives. For that, we can have a dedicated video, most likely in upcoming series, you can find it. But going back to the, the quantitatives here, and we are going to use the couple of uh, metrics. One, which is the earnings yield, the other one, which is the return on capital employed. And by considering this, we are going to find a list of companies which may be really good for staying invested from a long term. Let's first understand why these two metrics are very important. It is very common that you might have heard of PE ratio because in this particular way, you are looking after how much are we paying for the company earnings. Am I right? Let's say if a company earns 100 rupees, as a earnings per share, and if a company share price is thousand rupees, what is that we are actually getting it? That uh, the next buyer is willing to pay thousand rupees for the company which earns hundred rupees. That talks about ten PE. Look at from a earnings yield perspective. The concept of earning yield is just the inverse of PE ratio, and it is just the different perspective. Mathematically, it remains same, but it's just the different perspective. The perspective is. If a company is actually making 100 rupees, whereas if I'm actually going to pay 1000 rupees to buy that particular shares, so the yield what I'm actually getting in terms of EPS, 100 rupees for the 1000 rupees is only 10%. So by any chance, if I'm actually paying 2000 rupees to buy the share, which has earning per share is just 100 rupees, then the earnings yield is only 5%. Now take those two scenario. If earning yield is 10%, the other earning yield is 5%. This tells me that am I paying more or less to acquire the shares from the market? Interestingly, it is talks about from the market. So it's very interesting to know whether the share price is appealing to an investor or not based on his expected return on investments. The point is, when you are considering investing in stock market, you are coming to a, a riskiest asset class. The beauty is it actually gives you a very good return from a long-term perspective. So the renowned investors usually suggest us to keep the earnings yield should be more than the, the interest rate what you get from the safe asset class in India that the, the, the bond markets are good enough to give at this moment 6 to 8%. And you can still keep some a premium on top of it. Then if you are getting anything between 8 to 12 to 13% return on earnings yield, it is still appealing. Okay. And on top of it, we should act. It's, this is not enough to actually select a stock is what the title, what we made it. Because we should certainly look something beyond this P ratios or earning yield. So what next is very important. Look at the second aspect is the quality of the company matters a lot. Because let's say there are two companies comes with the, comes in front of you may have a similar earnings yield. In, in a given scenario, you should be really concerned about the quality. In fact, we should finish the quality front first, then we should go to the earnings. But I'm going other way around just to convey the flow. Look at the quality. How do I understand the quality? Here is the two ratios. One is the written on equity. The other one is written on capital employed. Do you know what is written on equity says? It talks about the profitability aspect of the business. The written on equity, am I right? Returns, which is net profit, divided by equity. So for an owner, how much money this company is actually making? That is what it talks about. But as, whereas if you look at the formula like written on capital employed, the capital employed consists of owner's money with the loans, whatever it's been taken. Because the business is running not just with the owner's money, but also with the the lenders money as well. So in some cases, you see that the lenders have significant contribution and using which how much operating income are they actually making is what an interesting thing which we should know. The reason why we are getting into it is 
The second one talks about the business efficiency of making money because the return on capital in one way it says that a business takes how much and produces how much that cash am i right so that talks about the business efficiency remember profitability really talks about the current scenario and the past tense but efficiency is much more reliable bet on a longer term perspective there are a lot more interesting ratios are there in fact there are a lot of uh, research is went through to look after various ratios but these two combinations is also vouched by various renowned investors and considering the metric return on capital employed should be greater than 15 to 20% mean the business is so efficient to make 15 20% but if you look at in india now there are a lot of companies are comfortably about 20 to 25% that is where our choice so if you look at excess invest because we Uh, as a sebi registered research firm we do make a long term stock recommendations through excess invest platform so there we actually has most of those stocks been fairly agreed on having a reasonable yield along with return on capital employed and you see that most of the companies that do justified by return on capital employed but if you look at the earnings yield you don't get the earnings yield always appealing but you cannot stay away from the market so you should figure out when to increase the rating and when to reduce the rating if you look at a companies like today petty light asian paints they are a very good company has a very good tendency of having a return on capital employed but in one way they are they are very expensive because their earnings yield are very low but look at tcs look at hdfc bank their their earning yields are very appealing in that perspective so that is the reason why you should look after return on capital employed should be greater than 20 25% and earnings yield uh, should be slightly greater than the bond yields in a way that it become a uh, quite justifiable so these are the times where you become slightly be aggressive in terms of looking at shares and getting invested otherwise if it is then you have to be consistent and passive in terms of moving forward but if you want excess recommendations to stay invested from long term you're most welcome do consider excess invest maybe you find the link in the below description or you can browse take a moment to understand who we are by getting into our website there you see a section called apps there you find something called excess invest where you will find certainly find answers for a long term investing hope you find this video very useful thank you